Hello healers, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. This is going to be a video response to the Kelly Bears tag, the five decks that you can't live without. And I know I'm a bit late to this one and this is not her first tag, but I can't stop watching these videos and I just wanted to do one myself. But I'm just going to do all mainstream um, decks that uh, it's going to be easy enough for you to use in Amazon to find in Amazon or your local you know shop and I'll link all the Amazon uh, links below for the ones I'm gonna show but I'm just gonna show the mainstream ones the easy ones for you to find uh, and uh, you know easy enough price as well and so just um, because I'm watching those videos over and over. I really like and enjoy them. I just want to put some out here. It doesn't mean anything new. It's probably some of the decks that other people have already shown. It's a mix. I have seen a couple of those decks on other people. I just want to talk about and show the ones I like it. So if you know this deck here, you, you know the back of this deck, you probably know which one this is, but this is not going to be the first one. So I'll leave this one here for um, later on and I'm gonna show you my first choice right I can't live without but I just don't want to it's the classic okay the classic tarot and it comes with this book here this is the back all right it comes in a big box which I I don't have anymore because it wasn't very sturdy box or anything like that but this here, the only reason for me to keep this one is because it was uh, one of my first decks and I re that I really enjoyed and got to know and found very easy to find readings. It, this, this book here, it's really, really good for beginners or, you know, anybody that uh, maybe needs some visual cards without pips and I'll show you here I have my favorite ones I'm going to show my favorite cards in all of the decks so this is by Barbara Moore you see the illustration here by Eugene Smith really really good book okay the guidebook is quite big and loads of information like I say beginner friendly for sure so I'll leave here and I'll show you some of my favorite cards you see here this deck it's like again following the the right away but with like more colorful and their own spin on it which it's really really lovely so one of my favorite cards uh the first ones here really the queen of pentacles the king of swords really really beautiful and i love this this tree of swords here it's like it's not just showing so painful and stuck around all these wires as well and I love this eight of swords as well with the rain and everything going on with this it's like really really deep the like I say very very easy to read I really connected with this deck and it's really lovely and this magician is lovely it's borderless so you you have uh, you know the image here they are standard size just the names on here but you have big enough because of there's no border borders so I really like again very colorful very beginner friendly lovely lovely colors and lovely cards really very easy to read I really really enjoy this one and I wouldn't leave behind just because it was one of the first ones that I bonded with and was very very easy to read okay so again this is how it looks on the back colorful for sure and really really nice so this is my first one and for the second one Another one that I really bonded with it's the Arcano. All right. Uh, this one artwork is by Renata Lechner. 
really I like those ones that they open from the top. It comes with a small guidebook, thick enough, but it's it's, it's quite basic because it's really about the it's it's thick enough because it's it's in many different languages. So but it's lovely explanation in any way. But the pictures in these ones they are just lovely. And let me show you here. The back is lovely. I, I really I really needed to like the backs as well of the cards. For me I needed to bond the whole way, right? So I love this back. It's funny enough with these cards, they're a bit shiny and all, but they are not it's like those some of those they they, they have they have extra card here. They have like some a different shine to them and it's like really like this. You see the the Ace of Pentacles. It's like I don't know if the camera does the justice really because it's it's like it's shiny even though the it's not really on on the image but it's just such beautiful images that you can easily easily see so I love this ace of pentacles you can see here with the way it's like an open open path for you it's beautiful I really think these these lovers here they are beautiful they're actually on the back of the box as well and they deserve to be because it's really lovely see here the strength is here on the front and the lovers on the back which they this card is stunning the colors everything is beautiful again no borders I really love this two of swords it's just dark and you know the way in the back here the water it's just beautiful with the moon I love this eight of cups here as well with the, the way she's she's walking away and the color the red here is just stunning the night here it's lovely love the the hermit here in a closer you know it's just a different take normally he's far away so it's closer here I really really love this one and this is my favorite really the, of the kings the king of cups here is just stunning this blue here is just stunning and again no borders many people I have seen other people showing their favorites which is the Telena uh, tarot which is from the same artist so very similar to that to those cards as well with no borders and similar you know the people the faces like more realistic like you know you can how cute is this six of cups beautiful beautiful cards right and I needed to choose and I wanted of course one that was right away more similar to the old ones but I could not leave behind <laughs> maybe not everybody's taste but the golden universal tarot with you know all the shiny cards right this is the back and if you know this this deck you know it's all shiny you know it's all gold and shiny it's really more similar in really close to the right away original one but the shine here again I don't know if the camera does the justice because it's so shiny the, the I think there's no there was no need for borders but I don't mind because they are black so I kind of like it I don't like that they don't have the names they have just the numbers but I mean if you know the cards you see this is it's really lovely here I don't know if you can see those are really nice this this guy here really really looks like the He-Man if you watch that cartoon if you know what I'm talking about <laughs> This Ace of Pentacles is just beautiful. All the pentacles with the gold is just beautiful. But it's not for everybody because it's so shiny. Some of them are just so shiny in the back. See the Hermit here, another one that I like very, very much. 
but again I know it's not for everybody but it's one of the wider wakes really close this is the Arcano in this one they are from Los Carabello you know and even the box here is all shiny it's but and it's it's like one of the closest ones to the right awake but with the shine with the extra like it's really extra but I really like it just an idea for you to see here I don't know if again if the camera is showing exactly but it's so so shiny the the pentacles they are just beautiful stunning stunning oh, you can see a little bit there and some of them is more on the back like it's all gold here on the back dots Let's see if you can see if you don't have this deck or if you have seen some split throughs just just stunning and I couldn't leave this behind so all right just for you to have an idea I'm not so crazy about the backs but I'll take it another one so this is three already no uh, yes three already so fourth here would be the green witch tarot which come in this if you buy with the book comes with this nice box here sturdy enough and you find here the guidebook which is lovely with space for you to write on it is just really really good and the cards here so this is how the back look I absolutely love the back of these cards couldn't leave them behind and it's just um, they are the which is one so it's gonna be different the the names and the take on it so I like that very much one of my favorite cards for sure the Hornet God or the Emperor just beautiful the the Holy King here is the is the hermit uh, it's the hermit so again one of my favorite ones the star it's definitely one of the favorites beautiful ace of cups beautiful and I'm I really really like this seven of ones the house here the fireplace is just stunning and you know the green man or the fool they have the different names if you know this deck here you would know that the, the few different ways so if you like a, a different deck earthy for sure all the lovely pictures the story going on here no people tags here I enjoy them but I really really love the the ones with the, the pictures and the stories and this here very earthy with with the which take on it and the different meanings really really something that I couldn't leave behind if you know this deck you know you can have walkthroughs and I absolutely love this back love the back and they again no borders so I really like that all right this is going to be a short enough video guys and just trying to find the space here last one and shadowscapes I know it's not for everybody but whoever likes these ones really really like so shadowscapes again lovely box this book here is just something this book is beautiful the explanation I just I got it and I read it straight away like in less than two days because it's just beautiful these are the ones that I had in the beginning I absolutely love the back of these cards love love you know so if you know this one you know how 
Stephanie's work is just beautiful. The details in these cards are unbelievable. So much you can take from it. I really love the devil card. The eight of swords here. It's beautiful here. And the explanation in the book is just so good. It's just so good. The way she explains here for this one, for example, it's just the way that the bird can come and help move away and find the light. It's just it's just a story in all of them and there's so much to see. I know it's not for everybody because there's a lot of information on the cards, but I absolutely love this. The complaint that everybody has is the one I would have to. The cards, they deserve to be bigger. They should have been bigger. There was no need for this these borders and even without the borders they should be bigger anyway because the the pictures are beautiful the pictures on the book when, with the explanation they are bigger here on the side see you have them full size here but it's not colorful it's not the same i may attempt to color them at some point so two of cups this this Again, the hermit here is just beautiful. The balance is just something else. I love this card here too. The tree, the edge. You see here the edge that he is on and looking is just stunning. They are lovely. There's lots of information. This tree of swords is one of the most beautiful ones. I have I heard that before and it's true. It's one of the most beautiful tree of swords out there. Just stunning. And the death card is just the phoenix here rising from the ashes. It's just such a great explanation. It's unbelievable. So I love these decks and I couldn't leave them behind. I do have one oracle deck here. I know it's just, it's not, no need for extras, but if I one of the decks behind maybe the first one and if i had to take an oracle deck it would be this lovely angel and ancestors oracle cards this is just stunning you know this is just stunning beautiful the back of these cards even though this book the back is beautiful. They are thick. They are. It's fifth. There's fifty. Uh, fifty-five cards here. And the, even though this book seems small, it has so much in it. It teaches you how to connect with the cards, how to understand them because there there are three different types of cards. It's just it's just beautiful. Right. So one of my favorite ones. Spirit Fox. They are thick. They are not shiny. So it's lovely. Winter. One of my favorite ones. The Hunter. And the representation here, guys, is the, di the different people that you can see here. They're just beautiful. Magic Guardian. It's, you see people from everywhere in these cards. It's just unbelievable. It's beautiful. The messages are beautiful. The pictures so much, and there is a small, you know, a little bit of a few words there to understand. And if you read the book as well, and even without the book, there's so much to get it. So, one oracle card, I would, if I had to choose just one oracle card, it would be this one. Unbelievable. So many people represented here, lovely, and the messages, they're just beautiful. Beautiful. Well, this is it, guys. It's just, I know it's, a, it's supposed to be a quick video anyway. Those are my fi five favorites. I wouldn't leave behind mainstream. And um, one Oracle card, just as a bonus. One extra. Why not? Just one. And um, that's it. This is my take on this. Um, you know, this tag, which I'm, like I say, I, I'm watching so many. I, I really enjoy them. I know people have added them maybe a month ago but i have seen few recent videos too and i say you know what i like them why not add my one too 
And if you're interested in any of the cards, I'll leave all the links because they are all easy to find. Okay? Thanks very much for watching. You have a lovely, blessed and healing day. Bye-bye.